Hi, welcome to STEM with Mrs. Sawyer. STEM with Mrs. Sawyer is a video collection of STEM challenges that you can complete at home with your family using the resources and materials that you already have. Each month, I will release a new challenge for you to do at home, and I will send it out in a newsletter that will also have some additional links for any other scientific vocabulary or ideas that you might want to research more before completing the challenge. All of the videos are, and newsletters are also available on my website and can be done in any order that you would like and can be repeated as often as you would like to do them as well. The challenge for this month is to design a platform that can hold a cup of water. That may sound like a simple challenge to begin with, but it's a little more involved than you may think. One thing I'd like you to do before you start this challenge is to take two cups on your counter at home, one that's empty, and fill one with water and then lift them up and feel the difference in how heavy they are. Because it's important to understand for this challenge specifically that water is very heavy. So the way that we can use that cup of water to help us design our platform is, it can let us know if our platform is stable and sturdy. Because if it can hold the weight of that cup of water, then we know we've built a successful platform. So now let's think about what a platform is. So a platform is just a raised flat area and it has many different purposes. Firefighters will use a platform in order to be able to see out over a forest area, especially in, in large forest areas to check and make sure there are no wildfires or anything dangerous that may be happening out there. Platforms are used for people to be able to see over airports, right? You might think about the platform that might be inside of like a small building for um, the airline workers to see out over the runways. Platforms are used out in the middle of the ocean for oil rigs in order for people to do work out in the ocean. They have many different purposes. Platforms are also used in the Olympics for diving. So think about all of those different ways that a platform can be used. But now that you understand more about what a platform is, let's enter the ask phase of the engineering and design process. Think about what problem you wanna solve. Whose needs are you gonna meet by solving that problem? Empathize with those people who would use your platform or who would benefit from other people using it. Is it for safety? Is it a platform that allows workers and rescue workers and fire workers to be able to get higher in order to see where there may be an area of danger? Is your platform something that may be used out in the ocean where workers have to work out there um, under some very extreme conditions? What is your platform going to do and who's it gonna serve? Empathize with the needs of those people and really think about the problem that you wanna solve in this part of the process. Now imagine all the possibilities for your platform. I really want you to ideate and brainstorm as many ideas as you can think of. Again, this is where we use our paper and pencil to really draw out and sketch out, label all the designs that we can think of where we might be able to come up with an idea for our platform. Anything at all during this stage of the process, you wanna brainstorm all the ideas, no matter if they seem like they would be possible or successful or not. And then you can work through all of your different ideas that you have and choose the best one. Now that you've chosen the best one, I want you to make a detailed plan for that specific idea that you had. Really sketch it out, draw it into more detail than maybe you did in your brainstorming process. Make sure that you're labeling it, thinking about all of the different problems that might come up when you're building it. What are some obstacles that you might have? Think about the time you have to build in and the materials that are available to you. Remember, one of the things that we wanna do with STEM with Mrs. Sawyer challenges is we wanna use materials that we already have at home because we wanna see that we don't have to have a computer or an iPad in order to build and be an engineer and a scientist and create a variety of different things with our materials at home. Now you're gonna create your prototype. Think about what you did in your brainstorming stage and your planning stage, right? And now you're gonna actually create a platform. Again, a prototype of your platform this is where you're gonna build, test, and redesign as needed. We know that, especially in the case of this platform, we are not necessarily building it anywhere near the size it would be if we were gonna use it in real life. We're doing the same thing that scientists and engineers do in the real world, and we are building a prototype, an example of what it will look like, because that allows us to work through any design flaws that we may have, and allows us to improve our platform design. Now that you've built your prototype and tested it, I want you to enter the iterate stage. Remember, this is that circle that we're thinking about when we're iterating. We want to repeat that process as many times as necessary to create a successful platform design and prototype. It may be going back to the brainstorming stage. Maybe you need to redo something in your original design. 
it may just mean making a small change in the prototype that you built. Maybe you saw that something wasn't successful. So again, take yourself through that process. You're gonna kind of go back to that create phase multiple times as needed in order to make the most successful platform that you can. Now I want you to take your platform even further. Can you make it taller? Can you make it hold more weight? Maybe instead of one small cup of water, you use a larger cup of water. You might even try a small bowl or a small bucket. What could you do to ensure that your platform is even more successful, even taller, even able to hold more weight? All the different things that you designed your platform for in the beginning, think about how you can take that to the next step. Now you wanna share your engineering and design process that you went through to create your platform with someone else. Share with them what was successful and what wasn't successful, what you might do differently if you were to create this platform again, and just talk with them about all of the different ideas you had for creating your platform. Thank you again for joining me with STEM with Mrs. Sawyer. As a reminder, send me any pictures and video that you have of the challenges that you create at home and that all challenges and newsletters are always available on our website so you can go back to them at any time you'd like. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.